It's May 23rd. We got uh, 12 machines. Some of them have taken off already. We have a designated uh, route that we're going to take. So you go that way, then when you get to the dead end, then turn right. I think I'm going to move this thing into the shade. I'll just wait for these other guys here. Oh man, it's hot already. So the plan is we're going to go down up this trail here, when you get to the dead end, turn right, and then when you get to the corner, turn straight north, and then we're going to go into that cattle pasture, and we're going to make a loop through there, and then we'll head north again. We'll go all the way around, we'll cross the creek, uh, way up the north side there, and then we'll come down through the pits, down, down on Perry Lily. Uh, get back to this road that we're on, and then we'll take that to uh, Crazy Dave's lunch spot. That's the road that we got stuck on that one winter. Right. And by that time, we'll probably all be ready for something to eat. Yeah. And then after that, there's some more looping we can do, and we can just go wherever we decide. Ready to go? Are you right behind me, Corey? Oh, look at this. Here's that horse. Oh, that, that is rank, eh? Oh my God, that's rank. Everybody good? You betcha. Okay, just go this way when you're, when you're ready. So is that open? I believe so. Dave was here before us. He went in there. Bruce followed somewhat but couldn't keep track of him and he just did a loop and came right back out. So I don't know if we just want to keep going down the tree line. No, no, we're going to go and we're going to follow Dave. Good? I'm pretty sure I can even see Dave's tracks every once in a while. Yeah, crazy Dave. Yeah, that's crazy Dave. You know how the um, the grass gets bent over from the, the the wheels, eh? Every so often, I can I can see how the, when the sun's shining on it the right way, I can see a track going through here. So I'm pretty sure he. There's there's two different ways to get there. He, we could have went to the right as well, but I think he came this way. Yeah, yeah, I, I, he told me the, the hill where you could look out at the tower, and I said, okay, I know where that is, and so I'm assuming that's where he went. Yeah, uh, I think we're getting pretty close now. This is where Dave said he was going. So we've lost him already. He's in this area somewhere. There's a, it's just a big loop. We'll find him. When he comes out, he'll probably wait on the road for us. Dave, we'll carry on. He knows his way. It's not like he's lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we're st yeah, we're still we're still close enough to the truck. I would actually whip home. I whip back there and get it if I did forget it. What are Corey and Q referring to in this conversation? Is it A. His truck keys, B. His coffee mug, or C. The dead horse they found on the trail? So what is it that Corey and Q are talking about? 
If you said B is coffee mug, you are absolutely correct. Q never goes anywhere without his coffee mug. We lost somebody. Two drugs. Who? Chris and Bruce. Yeah, we we lost two riders. Yeah. They don't know their way in here. You know how to get back? Not really. Okay. Okay, we'll wait here. Yep. Corey said, uh, he says, hey, all I can see in front of me are a bunch of cues. Because <laughs> you and Joe yeah. and me were up here. He said the orange really stands out, eh? Yeah, that's what I see in the picture. I was like, oh, I like that. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. That's called construction orange, I think, actually. Oh, thanks for the shirt. You're welcome. There they are. There they are. Back in range now. Probably just wanted to go a bit faster. Where's Chris? I'm going back looking for the rest, but I... You can't find them. Oh, I, oh yeah. well, you know what? If you keep following the trails, you'll eventually come back to the that north-south road. Perfect. Let's go to Four Corners and wait for him. Convene, see if Dave's there. Yeah, Dave might even be there. Yeah, so this is the uh, trials and tribulations of riding with a big group. It's kind of fun, but it's uh, it can also be... Uh, Difficult at times because you, you're losing riders. Oh, what the heck! Guys get too far behind and then they take the wrong turn at Albuquerque. And I kind of figured you'd be waiting here. Here they come now. No, the other guys we lost, I have a feeling they're going to come up this trail. Uh, so so how long have you been sitting here? Five minutes. Oh, we went back down here to where we started. Oh. And everybody was gone. Okay. So we came back here and I said, well, they're coming through. Okay. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I can hear you now. I think we're gonna get disconnected a lot because it's, uh, it's too dusty.
go too hard, you'll get your saw wet. Okay. Lights. Action. Roll them. I said the water levels are really low. Yeah. So I'm hoping this trail is going to be clear because this is the one that I swamped my uh, foreman on last year. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I'm getting close to the trail here at my GPS unit. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, here it is. This is, this is the spot I made it to last year before I drowned my engine out. That's how high the water was in here. here. Yeah, it was up here. Really? Yeah. This is where I drowned out right here. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty, dr I think all the water's gone now. Just wait here for those guys. Um, I think Dave's going on his own. He'll meet us at the at the entrance to uh, Windmill. Yeah, we should only have nine guys because Dave is number ten. Yeah. Yeah, I think he might have. He might come this way, I'm not sure. But I told him we'll meet him at Windmill. Oh, yeah. So, this is uh, Cutout Road now. I'm going to turn left on here. No, hey, there's a quad coming. Slow down, everybody. How many you got? Oh, okay. Have a good ride. Yeah, that that girl said there was like ten more riders. They have a big group, she said. Yeah, I think there's I think there's ten in total, she said. Dusty, really dusty. Yep. Yeah. Have a good ride. Where's Dave? He's going to meet us here. That's him? Yeah. Sweet. This is nice in here, man. And we, we should all give thanks and praise to Dave. It is right to give him thanks and praise. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I can't remember. That's uh, that's. A <laughs> that's it, buddy. Here we go. I'm a little disappointed, Jerry. Why? I was expecting you guys to like push a button at a certain point and then the force would just kind of fold back and there'd be a secret entrance. Oh. <laughs> That's like a secret entrance. That is like a secret entrance. Well, I'll this is it. This is our guys here. This is our group. I know where the trail. I call it the double knot secret spy trail. These there we go. Time for some lunch, boys. And coffee. That's what I need. Coffee. Woo! This is a good trail. It was, it used to be better until the uh, the wind came along. When you when we get up here further, you'll see what I mean. I should have put my jacket on. Everybody's just up there. I'm just putting my jacket on. Oh, for sure, yeah. Straight. Got it. Yeah, these are pretty tight trails for uh, side by side. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder how Dave got through here. He fit. Oh, I think I, I think I can see. <laughs> yeah, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Do we, need, do we need a chainsaw? Oh, can he get through there? Okay, now straighten it out. Keep, you're good here, you're good here. Hard. Yeah! <laughs> Let her buck! Sorry, did I get you with that? Nope. My cat likes reflexes. 